it's at a level where the students can understand. Uh, it teaches various different disciplines, uh, from programming to the theory and the maths that is involved in it. It's a broad and balanced curriculum. To get started with the GCSE, I think it's quite easy because uh, you've got a lot of help from OCR themselves. The, the topics that I really like delivering are things like the programming, things like you know logic gates, computational thinking, anything that sort of gets them really thinking um, and trying to solve problems. Their faces light up when they get to you know get their programs to work. That good rush that you get when your code actually works in the end and it does what you want, it's a really good feeling. When we were doing logic gates, it was sort of bringing out, you know, something like a fridge or, um, you know, a car motor or something like that, where they can really try to visualise it um, and, you know, connect what they're learning in the lesson to everyday life. I joined this school as NQT. My first class I was given was a year 13 A level class. I, mean, I thought it was very well laid out the course, and um, the, the students liked it. Um, the, the stuff that was taught was at a good level as well. And so yeah, it was, it was really enjoyable. What they'll do is they'll sit down in groups and then try to figure out a way to approach the problem. And um, they really like doing that because it really pushes their thinking. There's a lot of problem solving in computer science and that really helps with things like math. So you have to be creative about how you figure stuff out. We were given the chance to present. That was really fun as we got to see what it's like to be the teacher. That helped like our skills talking to bigger audiences. It developed our confidence. The reason why I've chosen the OCR specifications for both GCSE and A-Level was the dovetailing between the two meant that it worked for our students as well as the teachers teaching it. We've restructured the Key Stage 3 curriculum to offer a more of a bias on computer science rather than IT. We offer a computing kind of game where all the year groups compete against each other. It brings out all the learning skills uh, required for programming that the students just love it. It's really improved my skills in programming and it makes it a bit more fun yeah. as it's competitive. It's nice to have a bit of competition and it makes us want to do better. Year 12 we're at the top. We're at so. the top. Students uh, choose computer science because they know where the, the, the future jobs are going to be. I think that like robots and Stuff like that are really cool in the future and it's what I want to do when I grow up. We try to do sort of extracurricular activities, microbit club. We've just started a robotics club for year nines upwards. We're planning to take them to Bletchley Park. We are going to take them to Science Museum for the information age. So all these different things to try and get them excited and interested in the subject. Last year we did the Cyber First Challenge, which was for girls only. So we took a group of 12 girls to Cambridge, the Centre for Computing History, where they, had, they got to meet like women in tech. We managed to get 100% 9 to 4, and we've had 61% of students getting 9 to 7. Well, a lot of the students, um, they take a piece of that's along with maths, and sometimes physics as well. A lot of them want to go on to become computer scientists or uh, engineers. I uh, was hopefully going to go into an apprenticeship and maybe pursue a career in uh, computing. We've got students who have gone off to Cambridge University. The OCR materials that I use to support sort of my teaching, exam preparation is definitely the exam builder because I, that allows you to select which questions you want from which units. Mm -hmm. So I tend to use that as a revision for end of unit assessments and I definitely recommend that. It's really easy to use. I've been in touch with subject advisors at OCR. They've been brilliant and if we ever need anything I know OCR will be there for us.